Evolution is the driving force behind the diversity of life on Earth. It's nature's way of constantly experimenting, adapting, and refining living organisms to better suit their environments. At its core, evolution is a beautiful dance between chance and necessity. Natural selection acts as nature's filter, favoring individuals with advantageous traits that increase their chances of survival and reproduction. Whether it's a bird with a slightly longer beak for reaching food, or a plant with a more efficient method of seed dispersal, these small variations can make all the difference in the struggle for existence. But evolution isn't just about individual organisms. It's also about the ever-changing world around them. Environmental factors such as climate change, geological upheaval, and habitat loss serve as catalysts for evolutionary change, forcing species to adapt, migrate, or face extinction in the relentless march of time. In today's video, we will fast forward the process 5 million years into the future, a time when humanity has long since faded into history. In this distant epoch, Earth has undergone a radical transformation, giving rise to a menagerie of strange and wondrous creatures that defy our wildest imagination. Here, we will look at five of the new species who roam the future Earth. During the time of humans, the Earth underwent significant climate shifts, resulting in a rapid warming trend that favored reptiles over birds in certain ecosystems. As temperatures rose, habitats previously dominated by avian predators became more hospitable to reptilian species, leading to the expansion of populations and the colonization of new territories. Among these reptilian pioneers were the ancestors of Solaris dracopteris, descendants of the common gliding lizard that had evolved to exploit new ecological niches in response to changing environmental conditions. As their avian competitors dwindled in numbers or retreated to cooler climates, these reptiles seized the opportunity to fill the void left behind and establish themselves as apex predators in their respective habitats. Initially, Solaris Dracopteris retained the gliding capabilities of their ancestors, using this adaptation to navigate through dense forests and evade predators. However, as the climate warmed and forests naturally became more sparse, natural selection favored individuals with enhanced gliding abilities capable of covering the ever-growing distances. Over time, the descendants of these gliding lizards underwent further adaptations to optimize their aerial prowess. The development of photovoltaic cells in their skin provided a revolutionary advantage, allowing them to harness solar energy more efficiently and convert it into energy to power sustained flight. This solar-powered flight enabled Solaris Dracopteris to cover vast distances with minimal energy expenditure, expanding their range and outcompeting other aerial predators. As the predecessors to Solaris Dracopteris grew in their role as apex aerial predators, so did their physical size. Solaris Dracopteris ranges from 1 to 1.5 meters, 3 to 5 feet in length, with a wingspan of approximately 2 to 3 meters, 6.5 to 10 feet. These larger dimensions allow them to capture larger prey and further establish themselves as the dominant force in the sky. To hunt their prey, Solaris Dracopteris glides through the sky, utilizing air currents to maximize efficiency. With their keen eyesight and acute sense of smell, they identify targets from high altitudes, scanning the landscape for any signs of potential prey. Once a target has been identified, Solaris Dracopteris executes a precision strike, diving swiftly and silently towards their prey with their wings tucked in to maximize speed. Maintaining absolute focus and control, they swoop down, extending their sharp claws to deliver a swift and decisive blow, immobilizing their target before it has a chance to escape. Upon capturing their prey, Solaris Dracopteris wastes no time in consuming whole chunks of their catch, avoiding potential conflicts with rival Solaris Dracopteri, who can sense the kill and may attempt to steal the meal. Today, Solaris Dracopteris thrives as the dominant aerial predators in their ecosystem, shaping the dynamics of their food webs and exerting selective pressures on other species. Their remarkable journey from gliding cowards to aerial dominance is a testament to the power of adaptation and evolution. In the distant future, Australia's ecosystems have undergone significant transformations, shaped by the legacy of invasive species and the absence of large apex predators. 
Among the most notable inhabitants are the descendants of the once invasive wild pigs, which have evolved into formidable carnivores known as Australosis carnifera. Initially introduced by humans as domesticated animals, wild pigs quickly established feral populations across Australia. With few natural predators to control their numbers, they thrived in diverse habitats, including forests, grasslands, and wetlands, rapidly expanding their range and outcompeting native species for resources. In the absence of large predators, wild pigs faced little predation pressure and began exploiting a wide range of food sources, including plants, roots, and small animals. Over time, selective pressures favored individuals with a more carnivorous diet as they gained advantages in energy acquisition and survival. As wild pigs increasingly incorporated meat into their diet, evolutionary forces drove the development of specialized adaptations for hunting and consuming prey. Their teeth and jaws underwent modifications, becoming sharper and more suited for capturing and processing animal protein. Their legs became longer and more adapted to running down their prey, while their stocky muscular physique helped them wrestle their catch to the ground and even intimidate other predators into relinquishing their kill. Standing at 1.5 to 1.8 meters tall at the shoulder, 4.9 to 5.9 feet, and weighing between 600 to 1,000 kilograms, Australosis carnifera emerged as apex predators in Australian ecosystems, preying on a variety of native fauna, including mammals, birds, reptiles, and invertebrates of all sizes. They played a crucial role in shaping the dynamics of their ecological communities, exerting top-down control on prey populations. Australosis carnifera, like their ancestors, continued to exhibit behaviors that altered their habitats, such as rooting and foraging, which affected vegetation structure and soil composition. However, their predatory role also influenced ecosystem processes, influencing species composition and nutrient cycling. The evolution of Australosis carnifera from invasive wild pigs to apex predators similar to their Ice Age predecessors, the Deodon, is an example of convergent evolution, where similar ecological pressures drive animals to adapt in, in similar ways to fill similar niches. Millions of years ago, a group of bats inhabited the dense forests that covered the Earth's surface. These bats were highly adapted for flight, using echolocation to navigate and hunt for prey in the darkness of the canopy. However, as environmental conditions changed and competition for resources increased, some of these bats faced evolutionary pressures that favored a transition to a more terrestrial lifestyle. Over time, a population of bats within these forests began to diverge from their flying relatives, losing their ability to sustain flight due to the dense foliage and complex canopy structure of their habitat. Instead, they evolved specialized adaptations for ground-based locomotion and hunting, relying on their echolocation abilities to navigate and locate prey in the darkness of the forest floor and tree canopy. As these bats adapted to their new way of life, they gradually transformed into a distinct lineage of mammals, Chiroptimus cavernus, the ambush predator of the forest canopy. Chiroptimus cavernus lost the ancestral ability to fly, evolving a more robust and muscular build suited for terrestrial locomotion in the dense forest environment. They developed powerful limbs and sharp claws, enabling them to climb trees swiftly and silently in pursuit of prey, or to find refuge from predators. Like their flying ancestors, Chiroptimus cavernus retains highly developed echolocation abilities, emitting high-frequency clicks or vibrations to perceive their surroundings and locate prey in the darkness of the forest canopy. Their iconic fangs developed specialized venom delivery systems. The venom, produced by glands located near the base of their fangs, became increasingly potent, enabling Chiroptimus cavernus to quickly incapacitate prey. This adaptation provided a significant advantage in hunting, allowing them to subdue larger prey efficiently while minimizing the risk of injury during confrontations. Additionally, their climbing abilities became more refined with adaptations such as opposable thumbs and gripping pads on their feet, enhancing their agility and stability in the canopy. These adaptations enabled them to access otherwise inaccessible prey and evade potential predators with ease. Chiroptimus cavernus is a solitary and territorial predator, establishing its own territory within the dense forests it inhabits. They lie in wait within the dense foliage of trees, 
carefully observing the forest floor below and patiently waiting for the perfect opportunity to strike. Using their keen senses of smell, hearing, and echolocation, Chiroptomys cavernus detects prey from a distance and accurately pinpoints their location before launching their ambush. When prey comes within striking distance, they swiftly descend from the trees, delivering a lethal bite to their victim's neck or spine with their iconic fangs. As apex predators of the forest canopy, Chiroptomys cavernus plays a crucial role in regulating populations of smaller mammals, birds, and reptiles. Their presence helps maintain the balance of species within the forest ecosystem, contributing to its overall health and stability. Five million years in the future, the landscapes of Eurasia have undergone significant transformations. Climate fluctuations, geological shifts, and human influence have shaped the continent's ecosystems, creating new habitats and ecological niches for species to adapt and evolve. Among the species that have undergone remarkable changes is the Felis magnesiuraceus, evolved from its modern-day predecessor, the Eurasian lynx. This new species has become a formidable apex predator, comparable in size to African leopards. Males of Felis magnesiuraceus can reach lengths of up to 2 meters, 6.5 feet from nose to tail, and weigh around 70 kilograms, 154 pounds. The increase in size of Felis magnesiuraceus is a response to the lack of large apex predators occupying Eurasia following the Ice Age extinction and human occupation. With the disappearance of these competitors, Felis magnesiuraceus seized the opportunity to evolve into a larger apex predator. In addition to its increased size, Felis magnesiuraceus has developed enhanced hunting abilities. Its jaws are equipped with powerful muscles and sharp teeth, enabling it to deliver lethal bites to prey. Its retractable claws are larger and more robust, ideal for gripping and subduing prey. Furthermore, its senses of sight, hearing, and smell are highly developed, allowing it to locate and track prey over long distances with precision. Following the disappearance of large apex predators and humans, Felis magnesiraceus expanded its range across diverse ecosystems, from dense forests to open grasslands. This expansion allowed it to exploit new prey species and shape ecosystems through predation. Felis magnesiraceus exhibits complex social behaviors, forming family groups or coalitions to hunt cooperatively and defend territories against rivals. This social structure enhances its hunting success and territorial dominance, enabling it to maintain control over vast territories and resources. As an apex predator, Felis magnesiuraceus plays a crucial role in maintaining ecosystem balance and biodiversity across Eurasia. By controlling prey populations and influencing habitat use, it prevents overgrazing, maintains healthy ecosystems, and promotes species diversity. Felis magnesiuraceus represents the pinnacle of felid evolution in Eurasia, embodying the resilience and adaptability of life in dynamic environments. Through evolutionary adaptation and ecological specialization, it has become an iconic apex predator, shaping the landscapes and ecological dynamics of Eurasia for millions of years to come. As a guardian of biodiversity and a keystone species in its ecosystems, Felis magnesiuraceus exemplifies the intricate interplay between species, environments, and evolutionary forces in shaping the natural world. The Carnifin's evolutionary lineage traces back to the common ancestor of modern-day mongooses, renowned for their agility and hunting skills. Over millions of years, as ecosystems evolved and new ecological niches emerged, their descendants underwent significant adaptations, culminating in the apex predators known as Carnifins. Driven by the disappearance of large apex predators, and the emergence of new prey species, Carnifins evolved to efficiently hunt and control populations of larger, more formidable prey. This ecological shift exerted selective pressures, prompting Carnifins to adapt and become top predators in the dense forests of the future. Carnifins are larger and more robust than their mongoose ancestors, standing at approximately 1.5 meters, 5 feet in length, and weighing around 30 kilograms, 66 pounds. Their bodies are sleek and muscular, finely tuned for speed, agility, and stealth in the pursuit of prey. Equipped with powerful jaws and sharp claws, Carnifins deliver lethal strikes to their victims with precision. To navigate their dense forest habitat and locate prey, Carnifins possess highly developed senses. Their eyes have adapted to low light conditions, 
facilitating effective hunting during dawn and dusk. Additionally, carnifins boast acute olfactory senses, enabling them to track prey over long distances, while their sensitive ears pick up even the faintest rustle of movement in the undergrowth. Carnifins exhibit intricate social behaviors, forming family groups or packs that collaborate in hunting and defending territory. Their cooperative hunting strategies, along with communication through vocalizations and body language, enhance their hunting success and ensure the survival of the group. The evolution of carnifins from their mongoose ancestors provided several advantages. Unlike mongooses, which primarily hunted smaller prey individually, carnifins evolved larger body sizes and cooperative hunting behaviors. These adaptations enabled them to pursue larger and more formidable prey species, such as ungulates and large rodents, which had become prevalent in the changing forest ecosystems. By hunting in packs and coordinating their efforts, carnifins could overcome prey that would have been too large or risky for solitary hunters like mongooses. This transition towards group hunting and larger prey ultimately secured the survival and dominance of carnifins as apex predators in the dense forests of the future. As top predators, carnifins occupy a unique ecological niche, primarily preying on medium-sized mammals like ungulates, large rodents, and arboreal creatures. Through controlling populations of these prey species, carnifins play a pivotal role in regulating ecosystem dynamics and fostering species diversity. Which of these five future predators would you most like to see? Let us know down in the comments. That's all for this video. If you've learned something new, hit the like button and share with your friends. You could also subscribe for more answers to your thoughts of nature please leave a comment for what you would like to learn about next. Thank you.